Hello, uh, today I will share with you this one of the top AI tools for academic work and research and that is Perplexity AI. This Perplexity AI, you can search it on Google and when you will click on it, uh, you can obviously log in there and make an account with your Google, Apple or anything. And once you do that basic steps and uh, you will be at this interface of Perplexity AI. A Perplexity AI is a very good AI tool. It has a very good features and it's one of the top uh, AI tools if you are a researcher, if you are a condition, and it is obviously quite different than ChatGPT and related tools because uh, it has a lot of exceptional features. Currently, I'm really at the free version of that, even that has so many features. But if you uh, want to use a full potential of perplexity AI, then you can uh, buy its subscription as well. Well, I will be sharing you uh, with you the few top features of Perplexity AI and you will just see how incredible it is. First, just like any search engine like Google, that you like in AI and ChatGPT, Gemini, it is a search engine. You can ask anything from it in this chat box. Say for example, uh, I'm searching, uh, I'm doing a research topic currently uh, and what is that? I will be asked it that, okay, what is the current evidence okay on use of SGL to do inhibitors in say for example fatty liver just I'm giving you command and see what it replies you can search for anything I'm, j I'm because working on my uh, research education so I will be showing you this from the research point of view uh, but it does wonders really and it has a lot of features and uh, I have got some internet problems so let it search I will share with you some other features of this perplexity AI now on the left top corner left of this perplexity AI certain features like this is the home home is actually the basic page that I just show you then is a discover now discover is the option in perplexity AI that if you click on this discover you can actually uh, can have a daily look up on what is being developed in terms of technology and AI hey it is just like any news channel or any news platform it is giving you the that AI about chat GPT about other things so it will keep you updated that on the various advances like on PayPal or Apple works Microsoft so if you wish to have this bird's eye view on new advancement this discover option in perplexity so here's my answer so I just asked it what's the correct evidence on the use of this sodium glucose uh, two inhibitors in the fatty liver they are though very famous drugs now in diabetes and heart failure so see on top this uh, perplexity AI is showing you the sources these are sources that it has used to extract the answer that we will currently see that it's from different articles from PubMed and MDPI and there were two more from PDA and others you can just see now the answer this is the answer now there are few best things about perplexity AI one thing is that it always cites the sources it will always give you the references uh, of the all the sources that it's used to generate the answer for any of your query second best thing about perplexity AI that most of these answers they are actually real they are uh, genuine uh, resources not like chat GPT that sometimes creates its own resources which, which don't exist actually third thing that is really good about that that it usually uh, gives you answers from the top 15 sources of obviously there are not always so many sources for every query but when if a query has too many sources like uh, if you're doing in a uh, research on a common topic there will be thousands of uh, sources so it will give you a summary uh, initially from the top 15 sources of that query and that will be cited so you can use all those sources immediately rather than searching on google that how to find those best sources it will just give you the answer from top 15 sources with references so you can use those as well set third thing that's best thing is this currently I just search on simple search I just put a command here and just applied now what happens uh, in perplexity AI that look here in the chat box 
this is an option called as a pro option just see my cursor there's a pro option if i enable this pro option from here now if i ask anything what is difference between the simple and pro your pro search is actually is going to give you actually three times more sources it will give you the references of uh, three times more sources than with simple search it will cite all those sources second thing is the answer will be more detailed and more longer than the simple search so these two are the features of pro then third thing is see it is saying me ask follow up what is this ask follow up actually let's uh, just like this i searched a query this perplexity will give you the initial answer this is just like an answer i'm following it is giving me some certain themes about the what is evidence on fatty liver okay there are beneficial effects of fatty liver and it is citing the sources see it is citing the sources the one article and another article is citing the sources second it gave me a theme that okay it is important for weight loss and insulin resistance in fatty liver again the sources hepatic enzyme levels i'm not going in detail but just to see that it is giving me five different themes or five different aspects of sglt2 in the fatty liver with their references so obviously i am doing a research on that topic i can just create a map from this <clears throat> so it also gives a summary whatever the answer it gives you it generates a short summary of all that that you can just read in short you can share this directly a link to any of your colleague your teacher and anyone you wish to share your single you can rewrite this with ai you can actually copy it and edit the query now what is the concept of follow up follow up is actually whenever you ask a question uh, this perplexity ai will itself give you some 3 to 5 related questions that you will all, all uh, you know also be thinking to ask the next but it will just simplify that process for you it will itself show you 3 to 5 next probable questions related to that topic see just like i asked about the sglt2 in fatty liver and in follow up it gave me three question that what are the potential benefits of sglt2 in treating a fatty liver are there any side effects of that drug in treating fatty liver and what's the mechanism of action so these are very common question and probably when you're doing research you will be asking for these question just like that is so simplified that it itself gives you the most probable questions that once i say i for example i click on this okay and now see initially it was doing a simple search but now i enabled the pro search so in my follow up question now it is giving me the answer from this pro search and see i said that it will give me th uh, three times more sources in the above answer there were five to six sources now see these are sources the 1 2 3 and the 13 more so now it is giving me answer for next question which is from pro search it is giving me answers from actually 15 sources so this is how it generates an answer actually with more references and again the same now more follow up questions mechanism of action side effects dietary restrictions how to so this is how now the concept of follow up questions and pro features is hopefully clear for you the another thing that you can do is see this plus option you can continue this chat or you can start a new chat but going to home but in this plus option it says attach images tags or pdfs you can upload any of your images your pdf documents your tags your excel sheets and just you can play around with that you can ask questions regarding those data you can ask uh, how to analyze that data how to you know ask for any statistical analysis of those uh, pdfs it just does wonder how i will not be uh, uploading a document here just i will show you one of the work i did i recently did actually with this i'll be shortly showing you that i i, I uploaded an excel sheet so see so this is an excel sheet that i just a few days ago it was an excel sheet data from global burden disease uh database of the who i just uploaded a whole long excel sheet here and it i asked it questions like a true analysis asked what is in the data set and see it gave me okay 
though so this was on i asked it what is in the data set and it just gave me some beautiful answers that okay this it provides me the introduction of data and it uh, it show me that okay your data sets include the following columns whatever is in that data it is just simplifying for me and see what i ask uh, next what are the variables included in data set and see it is giving me answer that your data set provided include the following variables it includes the id it includes a meo name for example deaths in this case location id it's giving me that okay these are variables sex age cause of the disease cause name matrix metric year so just it is doing the things simplifying me and see what i ask next this is less like you are putting excel sheet into your data or any species and doing uh, analysis it is giving you i asked it what kind of statistical statistical tasks can be applied on this data test say for example i'm a new researcher i'm a beginner yeah i mean i'm not doing the analysis uh, frequently so obviously you forget so you just put your data in excel sheet on word or pdf and just by describing your title of your research or your study design up just putting your data here you can ask it to just suggest me what kind of statistical analysis i can run on my this type of data or research and see it is again answering me about this that on this data it is suggesting me multiple analysis that i can do time series analysis on this data i can do a regression analysis on this data i can do an hypothesis testing on this data with tests like this anova and more i can do some run some non parametric tests on this stuff such like that wilcox and romsing and kruskal valis those have worked on spss and stata must know these things i can do correlation analysis survival analysis general linear models and blah 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 and more other see it is and you can go into detail of each one of that Send, see i asked it can you run a multiple linear regression on this data set actually and see it is just giving you resources and just it is saying you that in a linear regression what is your dependent variable and what is your independent variable it's showing their dependent variable y is actually the mortality here and your independent variables are these other age sex and etiology and all that now what else i'm showing you is that please run the analysis now now i ask it please run the analysis now obviously it's not a statistical package but see it is showing you that here's our code it will show you exactly with figures and how you can run the, any analysis that you asked for in your r uh, and it is showing you whole code how you can do that analysis on r this is the r code summary and this is i asked it more questions how can just analyze it on r so then what i did actually i just put another research questionnaire of a research data i put a questionnaire here and i asked it to please remake the questionnaire in a standard way say for example you uh, generated an app performer or questionnaire for you research and you are not sure that if it's good or uh, bad or it needs any correction just upload it here and ask it to to find it and see this how it is uh, actually generated this whole questionnaire refined a whole questionnaire and then asked a, uh, a lot of questions regarding my data and everything else so this was one of the option one thing more is you can generate images with the perplexity you can generate this uh, pdfs and, and everything in the pro version if you are going for the premium that is subscription you are paying for that you can generate up to 50 images per day from perplexity uh, you can uh, do unlimited analysis of your excel sheets you can uh, you know upload the pdfs and doing too much research so there are a lot of uh, benefits of this another thing that i would like to uh, tell you about in perplexity i this option of this focus that whatever you ask here whatever your question is ask here you can focus the answer how what is in focus in focus it will actually localize it will just you know uh, specify that from where you uh, wish the answers to come 
say for example if you are working on a research topic uh, or you are working on an essay and you are writing a question here in perplexity ai in focus you have option either to clear all that it will give you the answer from all the internet that could be from wikipedia that could be from newspapers anything but if you are working in academic setting you can just click on this academic just search in published academic papers in this the focus will shift and in the perplexity will give you answers only from published academic papers or writing that a perplexity you ask perplexity to just generate the text for me uh, do not search the web it will itself search and give you just a full answer then uh, youtube you can watch a video from youtube you can discover and watch from youtube you can get a data or from other sources so this is how you can actually focus your research one thing more that i wish to discuss with you that's really important is that one more thing uh, that is really important in perplexity ai and that is very uh, you know important and best feature that i found it in this library once you click on this library you can create the threads here now what is threads actually threads are actually your collections here you can actually create any of your it will give you option of create and create you can uh, you know uh, create a collection say for example in my collection is that my new research project whatever it is just say it's a new research project you can see the description xyz you can choose that it, it is the ed management of mi myocardial infarction and you can give it any prompt in this section just say for example you can ask it to give me answers only for last 5 years from top cited journals you can give a prompt and this privacy you have option you can either keep this collection secret or shareable just you can share a link with any of your colleague and collaborate on this they can also uh, you know join this project here on perplexity with their account and you can work once you have created that research project this is saved here and you go into that new research project new thread has been opened and now you can see i just name the thread a project in the that column actually just i didn't search anything but and description it is showing that i am sure are searching for the ed management of mi and see it is already suggesting me the follow up answer that like, okay what are the latest advancement in emergency department manage of management mi can you provide insight into the most recent research findings on mi and just like that you can do a full research for your project here you can focus that project with this academic papers only here shift the your uh, if you will click uh, all it will search everything wikipedia newspaper resources and blah blah everything that's with academic only will show you from the answers from the public uh, published papers actually so uh, don't forget to shift it here with pro search you are going to have more prolonged answer more detailed answer more uh, resources it will show you more citable resources and either you can attach any of your related pdfs it or anything related to the topic and ask your questions you can analyze your excel sheets so this is uh, uh, just a, a short tutorial on uh, perplexity the more you will use it the more you will can learn and uh, experience the full potential of perplexity i hope this tutorial will be really use, uh, useful for you thank you